your new go-kart or a standard one is going to come with a medium or standard axle. Now you can go to harder grade axles and softer grade axles. Now that's a great way to get you started. Also too, I've got three axles here on the bench that should cover most bases. Now we're going to go straight into some common problems that we see at the go-kart track. Hey guys, welcome back to another incredible Power Public YouTube tutorial video. Now these questions have been coming in hard and fast on the interwebs, so thanks to all you guys out there that have been dropping comments down below asking questions about your go-kart tuning tips requirements. This video we're going to be talking about axles. Now go-kart axle tuning is a great tool and it can be a little bit complex, especially if you're a new guy, but hopefully today I can cast some light and debunk some myths around go-kart axle and go-kart axle tuning. When it comes to go-kart axles, your new go-kart or a standard one is going to come with a medium or standard axle. Now you can go to harder grade axles and softer grade axles. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down some common problems you guys get when you add the go-kart track and give you some solutions that you can apply next time you're out there dominating against the competition. Go-kart axles come in all different grades and lengths. But generally speaking, we're going to use the standard length medium axle for 90% of our driving. Now, the caveat being, if you are a bigger, taller, heavier driver, you might be one grade up from standard. And if you're a smaller, lighter driver, you might be down one grade from standard. So what we have on the bench here is the standard end type from Tony Kart. Now, most kart manufacturers all have a standard medium grade axle. They call them different things, but they it essentially is the same. And then obviously we have a harder type and also to the softer types. They also make a thousand millimeter axle as opposed to the standard thousand and thirty millimeter axle. And most companies have a short or a standard length axle as well. Now, some general rules of thumb for you new guys. If the track is hot and sticky, we're gonna go up a grade. If the track is cold and slippery, we're gonna go down a grade. If the track has a lot of tight, twisty corners, we could run a shorter axle. The cart's unstable, we're going to go back to our standard length axle or maybe even go to a longer one. Now that's a great way to get you started. Also too, I've got three axles here on the bench, that should cover most bases. One grade harder, your standard medium plus one grade softer. We're talking 50 millimeter axles here today but these general rules of thumb are going to apply if you've got a 40 millimeter or a 30 millimeter axle as well. Now we're gonna go straight into some common problems that we see at the go-kart track. When the track gets hot and sticky, obviously we're going to our harder axle. Also too, when the cart starts to bog off those slow corners, if you're on the standard medium grade axle, we're gonna go up a grade to the hard. If the cart's jacking excessively into the corners, well, then we might go down back to our standard axle, or if we've got our standard axle in, we're gonna go down a grade to our softer axle. If the cart isn't rotating quick enough at the apex or we've got heaps of tight corners, we're gonna shorten our axle up so we could cut off a little bit of an axle on our standard length or we could buy the specific shortened axle already from our go-kart supplier. Ours, in this case, is Tony Kart. But for you and you guys, whatever kart brand you've got, they're gonna have axles for you as well. Another side note to different axle grades in different go-kart brands, the one thing that you've got to just double check is your keyways. Sometimes they're drilled in different spots or the pegs are a slightly different offset. So just double check those before you start buying an axle from a different brand and trying to slip it into your cart at the track because you might get caught out with your brake disc or your sprocket carrier not lining up properly to the keyway, and that can cause some dramas too. Now, if the cart is a little unstable under brakes or through fast sweeping corners, our axle grade either is too hard or too, sh too short. So we can either go to a standard length axle or one grade softer from where we are. The next thing I wanna talk about is tire compounds. With a 50 millimeter axle, if you're running on a softer compound tire, you're generally gonna be running in the medium to hard range. If we're running on a harder compound tire, we're gonna be running with our standard or our softer grade axles. Now track surface conditions can change and you can get a track evolution. So when you start the weekend and the track's sort of slippery, no one's been on the track that much, you might have your standard or your softer grade axles in and then as the track rubbers up and gets cleaner, you might have to come back to your standard or go up even to the harder grades. The other type is different track surfaces, whether you've got big stones, little stones, hot mix, concrete. These are the more finer details that 
are probably a little bit outside of the scope of this video. So just a quick recap. If you are tall or the track is mega sticky, we're gonna use our hard axle. If you are short or the track is really slippery, we're gonna use our softer axles. If the track has a lot of fast corners, we're gonna use our standard length axle. Or if the track has a lot of tight, twisty corners, that's when we're gonna use our shorter axles. So that's cart tuning axles in a nutshell. If you've got more questions on this topic, please leave it in the comment section below. Thanks to everybody that's been tuning in and a special mention as always to our Patreon and YouTube members. Also, if you haven't had enough of us yet, we've been blowing up on Instagram and Facebook, so check those out at Power Public, or you can go to our amazing website, www.powerpublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.